Hello my friends, and once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're here in the Hunter Call of the Wild here on the Red Deer Great One Grind with the all new 300 Magnum and the pistol packing update. Today we're going to be going over the patch notes, playing around with the new speed loaders, and doing a massive test here on the new 300. I definitely think that is the new number one best gun in the game. Let me know what you guys think down below. Without further ado, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Let's hop right in, right after this. If you're new here, hi, I'm Squid. I've been playing Call of Wild for about six years now. I am 300 plus kills into my second Red Deer Great One grind. I have spawned one, and I would consider myself pretty informed in the Great One Call of the Wild community in general. So diving right in, we're going to be taking a look at the penetration first of all, because that is really what matters most to me, and I think that is really what sped up my grind here in the last 24 hours. Now if you guys don't know, the new 300 Magnum Arzina came out yesterday along with the new revolver and the new shotgun and the pistol packing update which we're going to be talking about later on. He's perfectly- oh we dropped him. He is perfectly broadside so that should have been no excuse amazing shot. Ignore the casually stacked 9 legendary, I have quite a few. If you guys watch the live streams you know exactly how much. Let's try to take a 400 plus yard shot here. Try to line it up the best I can. Dropped that one too. Holy crap. I'm telling you guys, this gun is just different than the 300. And I say different because there's almost absolutely no recoil. I'm going to cue a replay for you guys real quick. Try to line it up the best I can. Dropped that one. Isn't that absolutely insane? Now I do have all three points in the recoil management perk if I can actually open it here. Let's head down to shotguns. You guys can see I have all three points in recoil management which drastically helps with the recoil. Let's have a quick look at this penetration. Oh my goodness. Almost all the way through the red deer and out the other side. Which I kind of had a small angle there. Like I said, no excuses, that was an amazing shot, but back to recoil, again, there's almost absolutely none, and I would have demonstrated on that 4 there if it were a 5. In comparison to the 300 recoil-wise, absolutely crazy, because the 300, again, crazy penetration there, the 300 would straight up, like, I mean, I didn't have the recoil management perks a couple weeks back, but the 300, even with the recoil management perks, would straight up lift like that, and it would require you to have to pull down right after you pull the trigger, aka, like, recoil management techniques and stuff that you learn when you get more experienced at the game. And in 100% honesty, I am not using any recoil management techniques whatsoever with this weapon. It's just that good. <laughs> Now, obviously I'm not getting integrity on these red deer when I'm using the 300, but I'm using this in the perspective of our Call of the Wild community grinders. And as you can see, without even a vital shot, he is dying. <laughs> and the reason that I actually know that this is going to speed up you guys' grinds, depending on what species you're doing, with moose it's probably going to be about the same. Probably a bit more sped up, but the reason I say this is because no matter where you hit them at, they will die faster. And this is due to, again, the increased penetration compared to the other 300. This is resulting in the animals running a lot less far than they would before. Usually with the 300, if you'd shoot a red deer, like for example a flush shot, it would run insane amounts. Like for example, at this lake right here, the most insane shot I probably ever had, it ran almost all the way to this lake right here. I know when I used to be set up here because I had a red deer zone here, I tracked it all the way here, shot this zone, and then picked it up, and then picked up this zone. It got kind of crazy, but we're going to take a look right here now. Um, I believe I shot him, like, generally in this area. We're just going to say right where I'm standing at. He is already dropped down to 25 to 50%, and I'm 60 yards away. With the other 300, he definitely would have still been at 75 to 100% right now. Not saying definitely, but it definitely felt like it. <laughs> Another reason it's just better in general is it has that soft tone to it, almost like the 308. Excuse the background noise, here it is, 188 yards away. I would definitely say before I'd be tracking red deer 300 plus yards, no doubt about it. We're gonna do one final demonstration here, another 300 plus yard shot. Is that a... Oh, it looked like a huge duck for a second, I don't know why. Alright, 390 yards, so almost 400 yards away. And try to get a heart shot maybe long shot possibly 
Can we get good follow-ups? Oh my gosh, it's already almost dead. I, you, what? You, oh, it's a floater. Oh my gosh. Okay, now we gotta wait an hour. But as you guys can see, before the thing even gets a chance to run away, it's already dead. <laughs> Stunning job, EW. Make sure you guys let them know. Excuse the background noise again. We're gonna take a quick look at this shot here. Single long shot. I was actually right. I did get a long. Amazing job, EW. By far the best gun that they have ever created. I love it so much. This is my new favorite weapon. I think it is everyone's new favorite weapon. If you don't have this pack, I highly recommend it. It's actually cheaper um, than a lot of the packs that they've actually created. I don't usually talk about the prices, but this one was only like $5. Usually there's $7.99, I believe. In the pack, you also get the 4570 Schoenberg, which we're going to be playing around with here in a second, and the Strandberg 10SA Executive. Correct me down below if I don't say the names right. I know I'm terrible at it, but this is also a really cool gun. We're going to be playing around with this at tonight's live stream. If you guys want the stream schedule, it's briefly in the description. If you guys want an exact stream schedule, we actually create events and post them. With that, everyone mentions in the Discord server, so you will never miss a live stream if you join our Discord server. Link down below. All right, my friends, here it is, bare bones. We're gonna slap the Hyperion on there real quick. Oh, there it is, I found it. I didn't put it in my inventory. Slap some ammo in there, and let's go try it out on this Sika deer that's just ironically standing here about 180 yards away. We're gonna zero to 109 and aim a little bit high. Dropped instantly, holy crap. <laughs> We have a level three out here. Let's see. Oh crap. I forgot it's only one shot. Let's reload this thing. Reloading animation. Absolutely stunning. Is it getting closer? This dude is out of his mind, but he's going to regret it. <laughs> oh my gosh. We must actually got a vital there. And yes, I will be getting integrity for this because it is good for classes 4 to 9, which is a wide variety if you guys want to use it for quite literally anything. I just wish we had more than one shot, but it is a not necessarily revolver, but it's it's an, an insane gun. I honestly don't know what it is. It's very, very, very good. It's a handgun. Let's call it that. All right, we're going to have a look at the first shot here. These deer are absolutely tiny. I hardly ever hunt them. That was definitely not vital. We shot it in the tail. And it still died, which is kind of insane. Um, we blew through the flesh there, which makes sense, but I did not expect it to die that fast. This should be a much better demonstration of what a normal shot would actually be looking like. Almost got the heart there. Double lunged, almost straight through the deer. Great job. Great job, EW. I want to take a peek at the speed loaders now. I don't pistol hunt very much unless it's something like chunky, like the 243 or this 4570 here. All right, we got the Colt 45 here. We're gonna blow through it absolutely as fast as possible. And here we go, I'm excited. <laughs> Look at the reloading animation. What? I mean, I'm not shocked. I already seen it before, but it feels different when it's actually like you doing it. Oh my gosh, it reloads in under three seconds. It would probably still be reloading from the first, like, shoot through right now if I didn't have that speed loader. Let's show it off one more time. I love it. 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 I may start doing pistol hunting again. Let me know down below if that's something you guys would want to see. As for patch notes, I don't know a ton. Like I said, go watch Lady's video if you want someone to go into greater detail on it. But I'm going to go over the biggest console news, I guess we can say. The Wild hasn't always been the best game for crashing. <clears throat> Every single live stream, the game crashes at least four times. I personally play on PlayStation 5, and my game crashes every single day, no matter what. And since the update has came out, knock on wood, yes, I have a wood desk, that it never crashes again. Now, if it did crash one or two more times in the future, I wouldn't be as mad as if it did every single day. But so far, I know that I'm obviously not the only person that experiences these crashes. I have not experienced any. Let me know down below if you guys have. I haven't heard anything from anyone so far about crashes. And I believe it was one of the things that was actually on EW's official patch notes. But thank goodness they patched that. Oh my gosh, it was the most annoying thing ever. And it made the game basically unplayable on console. Also, there's been an absolute insane amount of just small bug fixes that they've patched up. 
It was 10 times worse on PlayStation with the crashes, PlayStation 4, and somehow on Earth, before I even made the switch to PlayStation 5, I managed to spawn my 10 fabled here. Isn't he beautiful? We also put together quite a few insane mounts like this, that, ton of diamonds, 800 plus. Without further ado guys, I think that is going to wrap it up today. Thank you guys so much if you didn't make it to this point in the video, and we'll see you guys next time. Let me know down below by commenting squid is the goat. That is the keyword for today's video. If you guys want a chance to win a one month membership to the channel, thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next time.